Booyah. Booyah. That's going to show up nicely. Hello, and welcome to another Thoughts with Mike. See, that's why people script these things, because when it comes out of your mouth, it never translates to what you had envisioned, to what actually is coming out of your mouth. You have to prepare. You have to prepare. Nice. Today I went and had dinner at Chick-fil-A. I think that's how you say that. I don't know. I don't go out to eat. My, my wife and I, we don't go out to eat very often. Hardly ever. But I saw that a friend had posted on Facebook that there was a lot of people going out to eat at Chick-fil-A today in support of their business. And I thought that would be a good idea. So I went. And I want to share my experience related to the group support of Chick-fil-A and just kind of the experience of eating out in general. When I first got to Chick-fil-A and went inside, well, before I actually made it inside, the parking lot was packed. There weren't any places to park. Uh, I'm in Austin, Texas, by the way, if you didn't already know that. And I'm looking at the microphone like the microphone didn't know where I was. In Austin, Texas, and the parking lot was full, which was kind of cool. I don't actually know how full it usually is, so I don't really have anything to go off of. But... In my experience of other fast food places, it was pretty full. And there were a lot of lines. So I got inside and the line wrapped around <laughs> back to the back of the restaurant. And one of the things that was really fun to do while I was standing in line for 20 minutes, it was fun to see who wasn't really connected to the internet and who didn't really know that there was kind of a large s swell of support people coming to chick-fil-a for the day uh, because they would come in they would stop at the door once they got in you would watch their faces they'd look at the line they'd look over at the line going to the back of the restaurant <laughs> and you could see them trying to figure out why the line was so big at the same time they're trying to decide whether they should stay or go to another place it was it was really interesting watching the the confused surprised trying to think look uh and then you know other people would come in and they'd see the line and it's like they expected it and they walked to the back of the line so that was that was interesting uh there were a couple of people in line that a couple of us were talking to who came in and had no idea of anything that was going on in the internet related to Chick-fil-A and it was it was fun and interesting so point number I don't even have these numbered so I won't even number them the staff of Chick-fil-A in this particular establishment handle themselves very well I was very impressed because the whole time I was there, the line either got longer or stayed the same. Like there were people constantly, tons of cars waiting for the drive through, tons of people coming in and eating. And the staff were, I mean, obviously it's positive support, but the staff were uh, very happy, uh, very cordial very quick at getting the food actually like once I placed my order it was only a couple minutes before I had my food and I was eating I was very impressed uh, so that that was a really good experience with the staff at Chick-fil-a also while I was eating my food it was interesting to note the noise level in the in the establishment because there were a lot of people in there and there was a lot of Kind of chaos with the staff running around taking people's orders getting food ready and i expected the noise levels to be a lot higher than they were that was something that i hadn't expected and the last thing i wanted to talk about the portion sizes i ordered a meal which comes with a sandwich a drink and fries and I ate the whole thing. Holy cow. 
not a good idea. It was way too much food for me and it did not make me feel good. Our portion sizes in the US are out of control. Shocking, isn't it? I need to name you. That way I can talk to you. Goodbye.